My name is Christine Moriello, and I'm a recovery of PTSD and PNES. I wanted to share a life lesson from my own personal life, my own personal journey, that I think is so significant, and I hope it helps you. This past week, after many years of not having insurance, not having sustainable income due to the process of overcoming and recovering my life, from the fallout of years of not looking, not facing, not being able to, I'm not judging myself here, I didn't have the tools or equipment or the people or the structure in order to do what I had to do previously. PNES was the gift that I needed to say, I'm not gonna look at circumstances, let's do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna have my life held up anymore. So I had insurance. I found that there were a couple issues that I wanted to address, and one of those things happened to be on my face. I'd gone to the dermatologist, he confirmed that I had a cyst, and that it was a slow growing cyst, and that it didn't have any signs of being uh, dangerous or any real potential of being dangerous, but if I wanted to have it removed, that he could do it right then. The thing is, he was very, very cautious and he wanted me to understand that there is no scar-free cyst removal. And I just sat there for a second. I mean, it's on my face. <laughs> so I was being realistic. On one hand, I have a problem that I don't want to remain. And on the other hand, I'm gonna have an ever-present mark on my face now that part is you know we live in a time where we have so many tools for scar treatment and whatnot but in the moment I had to make this decision am I going to do something that may result in a permanent mark for the world to see or am I gonna wing it and see how it goes I prayed real quick and I felt confident that addressing it right then and there was the right thing for me. So I did it. Well, technically he did it. He removed the cyst, sutured me up, sent me on my merry way. Well, a day or two into the recovering of that procedure, I thought about it and I realized that what I had just gone through was something that I could be proud of. Not only had I seen a problem, I had gone to somebody who was advanced, more advanced than I was at handling this kind of problem. Those are two big trust things, trusting myself and trusting another individual. But I had gone one step further and said, I'm not just gonna say I have a problem, there is a solution, I'm going to go ahead and take the solution. I've been told that there is no scar-free removal. It's going to leave a mark. And yet I did it anyway. As I thought about that and reflecting on that, I realized that that's been my journey in overcoming PTSD and PNES. Here it is that you come across situations. So, I've shared on some level with you that I was molested as a child. I was later molested when I was 17 years old. I had to face that. I had to go back, not to dwell there, but there was residue in my life. I was living out of those wounds. I couldn't live free of that because there was something there that was causing me to respond to certain situations differently than I would if I was completely free. There was something from it that I took, something that I had created as part of my identity that didn't demand the best for myself. I just accepted what came. I didn't have high standards for myself. I let any riffraff in my life. Now, not everyone who is in my life was riffraff, but my family could tell you there was some significant riffraff in my life. 
So looking back on those wounds, I had to peel it off. I had to look at it. I had to say, what, if, what was it that I walked away thinking of myself? What was it in that circumstance that has left that residue, that yucky, grimy residue that I'm still living out of that same wound, wounds, and theme of wounds? I had to go back and I had to go with an expert on that so that I could look at it and not get, not fall down the well of despair. So I did, I met with a pastor, I met with a coach. I learned how to do this, not just with a professional, but on my own, because let me tell you something, I'm 40 years old. There are plenty of minor wounds that I have to look back and say, did I walk away with a, an impression of myself, who I am because of that happening? Or was I able to recognize in that moment that sometimes life just happens and it's not because of who you are, it's happens and it happens to you. And sometimes it happens frequently to you. Or do I think I'm a bad person, this happened to me because God hated me, which is what I used to think. and. Ultimately, when I came back around, I realized there were things that I still had to do. Looking at those, for instance, those uh, two times of being molested as, as a child and then as a teenager, and say, have I forgiven the person? Forgiveness is not about saying what they did was right. It's not letting them off the hook. It's letting them off my hook, but there's still justice. There's, I believe, in a higher, justice. So off of my proverbial hook and on still is on their, uh, his proverbial hook. Have I forgiven them? Have I forgiven myself for whatever reason? Doesn't have to be rational. You can believe things, you can hold, hold grudges for things that are completely irrational, but they are still real. They feel real. So don't discount them. Look at them and say, I'm gonna forgive it, regardless of whether or not they did it or they knew it or they intended it, I'm still gonna forgive them because this is how it felt. And sometimes forgiving God, he didn't do it, but how many of us look and say, when something bad happens, God let this happen. And then we create a grudge or we hold a grudge against God or against society or somebody, somebody, means that I get to hold on to this wound. Holding this grudge means that I get to hold on. We don't want to hold on. Well, let me take that back. Let me step back. We do want to. In our minds, we do want to. But we can't move forward if we're holding on from the past. So this mark on my face will forever represent what it costs in order to move forward. Letting go of the problems of the past, whether that's forgiving yourself, forgiving others, forgiving society, organizations, God, whoever, whatever is allowing you, permitting you the justification of holding on to that wound. If you want to hold on, hold on. If you want to let go, you'll find freedom. I pray and hope that you got some insight from this. 